please give a warm welcome to the host of Alternate Ending. Well, thank you. Thank you for joining us. We're so excited yes. to be here and talk to both of you. We uh, both laughed and cried a lot. Uh, in the back, in our back corner, we didn't know what to expect. And we saw it. We're sitting in the back, like, rising and falling with you as we're watching the, the, the shorties. Yeah, the, the panel is incredible. So, so I'm Aubrey um, with, with Alternate Ending. And I'm Carrie. Yep. So very nice. It's really... You know, honestly, it is really an audience of people who are unique. It's a group of people who care for the arts, okay. the filmmaking, yeah. wow. the details. Okay. And, you know, they love looking and sort of dissecting and breaking down film and how it's made and really, like, the core of it. Like, really what matters. It's no offense, but it's less about Marvel movies and all of the spectacle like of that. It's really at the core of, like, independent films. Independent yeah. films and so we're so excited to share this with them because I think it's one of those things that's really going to resonate with a lot of people and the emotion of it and really the way that you captured it as well yeah. and the unique perspective that it has as well. So we're just like eager to get back. Like we're eager to get back and share it with everybody and, and have them watch it. So. so I have to have a fangirl moment for a second. <laughs> so, Ruby, your books have saved my life. <laughs> I'm not even exaggerating. So. Milk and Honey got me through a devastating breakup. <laughs> but then, uh, I know, I mean, oh my God. It's just, it was a bad one. <laughs> I know, I, I was like, I'm gonna cry during this whole thing. So, um, and then uh, about a year ago, I was, I was sexually assaulted. I was, uh, I was raped. And you're, you're sorry. <laughs> the, your books and the books that you wrote and the pain that you shared. Which is so incredible and such a gift. And I just, I just, I, I want to thank you for sharing that because it's really just, it's helped me feel and just, as a woman, I mean, all of your books have just been so empowering and, and to be able to meet you in person and hear you speak today is just pretty, pretty incredible. <laughs> When yeah. she knew that you were here, her facial reaction. I mean, I like, it. lit up. She was like, are you kidding me? I was like, oh my god, I can't do this. <laughs> this is somebody that like, matters so much to me. And I was like, that's yeah. right. Like, it's like, I live in LA. I don't give a shit about actors. Like, I don't. I don't. I don't care about celebrities and stuff. And I was like, oh my god, I get to Ruby. <laughs> So anyway, and yeah. she also shared about too. You were sharing about her directing history too. Yes. Right? Oh my God. I mean, I mean, honestly, like both of you, it's so inspiring. Just, I mean, you know how hard it is just to be a woman in the world in general, and to see both of you guys. Oh yeah. But to see, to see both of you just like kicking ass in in your respective industries, and, and to be inspiring women is just. This, this wasn't a thing 10 years ago. No, I mean, even five years ago, it wasn't. Um, and so, I mean, truly, it was so inspiring listening to both of you talk today. And, and the, the, the movie, the film is just so incredible. Yeah. And I'd love to know, I mean, you're seeing the reaction from just you. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> and what has the reaction been from others, like in your own circles? Oh, really? Oh, yeah. Oh, my gosh. Yeah. So you have to but even get that reaction. Have it, it's just like, it's just like, this is my first time seeing the finished version because I've seen the little, oh, yeah, little right. revision. Yeah. And um, last night, I was like, oh, we're going to be doing the panel. Should I watch the film? <laughs> And like, can somebody get me a copy? And then they were like, no, no, you'll be fine. You can watch it, but if that's what tomorrow is about. And I was so emotional. Yeah. I feel like I was holding my breath and like, just, I don't know. I think everything, every aspect of it, you know, I think the way that it was put together, Nisha, just oh. it built the, I don't know. It was just, I don't know, it was speechless. And that's really nice because I was like, oh, I've seen clips and like, I wrote the poem. It's not going to surprise me, but it did. It really, really did. So is this the first time that your words have been put to a film before? Yeah. What does that feel like? Like, what does that feel like internally? I mean, we see your reaction, but what does that feel like internally to see that on the screen like that? Um, it feels like such a blessing. It also doesn't feel real. Yeah. yeah. So I'm just kind of like, oh, cool. My twin, who has the same name as me, narrated this. That's nice. And now I have to be the one up here doing the Yeah. So that's kind of what it feels like. And I mean, 
I just, I think hearing hearing the ladies talk about their stories, I mean, that, you're right, it has to happen before the fact that, you know, they grow up with grow on a farm, and just like this being in, living in a food desert, Sri Lanka, like that, for them, for the, for them to be on this stage is remarkable. Yeah. And not only are they incredible business women, but I was telling them, like, yeah. you deserve the spot. Like, we yes. are so natural up yeah. here. Just, oh my God, they were wait. amazing. Yeah. I can't, <laughs> I would have been so nervous. Listen, I'm boss. nervous now, I can't. Yeah. Like, real bosses, like, yeah. you feel that. Yeah. Like, well, this is the reason why you're yeah. like, in this position. Too. And what a platform to give them, too. I mean, yeah. it's an incredible. Yeah. Yeah. I think that's why Nisha and I jumped onto the project yeah. because they were so incredible. Yeah. This is, I mean, the platforms you're talking about too, like for Susie's to do this at Sundance, and the company does it. So yeah. who's like helping women stories based on this way? Yeah. Mm-hmm. Anisha, you like, you touched on this a little bit, but like a little bit of, I mean, I think we all feel this as women. It feels like you kind of hit this continuous ceiling, you know, like, and you want, like you sometimes want, I know, over and over, have I reached the peak? Have I reached the top of this job or what I can do? In your experience, when you reach, if you have, I know I have, so I guess I'm projecting it, but if you've ever reached that moment where you feel like you've reached a ceiling, I guess what have you done? Have you said, keep persevering, keep pushing through, or have you said, there's something I change? Like, have you adapted in those moments where you feel like, you know, what do I do now? Or again, do you sort of lean into it and continue to ask you what your original path was? That's such a good question. I think, I, I think there's always the sort of, the thing that I'm always coming up against is who is in the position of power is like us, right? Mm-hmm. And is it other women? And is yeah. it other people of power? Like it's, Usually you're trying to explain why you need to tell the story to somebody who's not as invested in it as you and this yeah. whole group of people you know needs to see those. So I think in those cases I have thought, I'm lucky that I can write as well, so sometimes if I can't get it, I'm like, then I'm just going to write this book. Mm-hmm. I can make, you know, Ricky and I were talking about how she self-published her book, I make the person again. We know we can do it. Yeah, yeah. So, and that comes from my mom, you know, and she's like, I know I made it from my own to go along. So, you know, our parents, um, came to, like, India would only let me have to make seven dollars. So, every oh my person you see here, a lot, get seven dollars in their pocket, and that was it. Holy and then shit. made what they made, right? So, that's, like, unbelievable. And they don't talk about it. They don't see it. <laughs> like, I didn't find that out recently. That's incredible. Um, so, that knowing that you can make things from scratch is everything, right? I mean, you have that, you know. So then I'm like, okay, if there are too many no's, then I'm just going to go by that and do it because I can it, you know, because I can. Um, but what I've been really heartened by is that more and more and more in Hollywood, the things that are going to be in will be with that. And there are people that are on the other side of the table, and there are the people that are going to be with that. And I was like, the things are going to start changing. Things are going to be with that. Yeah. Yeah. That must feel so good. Yes, it does. Yeah. <laughs> and you're is an actress. I am. Like, and a writer. And, like, you're, and a writer, too, like in your own experience, too. Like, do you guys with us? I'm, I'm asking you questions now. <laughs> yeah, for sure. So it's actually funny. I'm, I just know so many middle-aged white men who are directors and writers and stuff. And, you know, over the past few years, I've just heard so many of them complain about, like, oh, well, the pendulum is swinging. I'm like, God damn right, it's swinging. And it should. And you know what? Because these stories matter and these women matter. And, like, and also, yeah, it's bullshit. No, I saw it's the stats. It's, 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 it's a very big anecdotal, like, it's a narrative now about the country. It is. Yeah. Because it's not actually true. And that's what I tell I'm like, yeah. I'm like, how many jokes? Like, come on. Really? Like, when you look at it, no. It's, it's really hard. It's hard to make it. Yeah. If you see it as a zero sum of Yeah. If you see it as there are only so many seats at the table, that's why that first generation thing would be like, I'm going to hold you out because if you come in here, then I'm not. Yeah. But that was all a big lie to begin with. Like, I was at the seats at the table, and there was, it was just, uh, and the more women in that table, the better it is for all the other women. Yeah. Like, the lie yeah. everyone bought was that's for men. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, men perpetuate that. Men have pulled each other apart. Yeah. Yeah. Exactly. 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 Yeah. 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 Ruby, I 
what are same question to you like have you experienced a similar experience too in yours of like you said you wrote your first book and you were like ah, that was easy but now I've got to like go into the next one like how did you sort of navigate that I don't know probably very well <laughs> you know I because I, I was probably like the first one is super easy because it was like 21 years of stuff yeah yeah, yeah. just like waiting to burst and then starting the next one at, 23 and I mean there's been so many moments I think where it's like I constantly asking myself, have I peaked? Am I irrelevant now? Yeah. Am I this? Am I that? Because we live in this capitalist world that wants to, especially with women, yeah. like extract as much as possible and then tell you, oh okay, we're done with you next. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And I think it's constantly fighting that and trying to tell myself like, that's not real. Like, yeah. You're here yeah. for a lifetime and you're great for a lifetime and it's only better um, many days I don't believe that then I make it till I make it I'm like it's fine just repeat it to yourself even if you don't believe it somehow magically you might uh, yeah that's kind of I think I'm finally at a place so where I am looking into the future with excitement rather than fear yeah. because I'm realizing I am choosing to I'm choosing that my best work is to come I'm choosing all of those things that if I need if I choose that, it will happen. Yeah. 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 Well, you proof right in front of you. You're running people <laughs> running people on the street who you're like bringing to oh my God. To work. So, I have to thank okay. you so much. Yes. Yeah. I have my dear friend who's a very successful actor. She was like, you're good. You know you're okay. And I was like, I don't know that. Yeah. yeah. I was gonna I ask, do you guys have like imposter syndrome? Like, is that a? I do. Oh my gosh. I don't know. There was this. I was jo joking that my, you know, John Waters always said, yeah, don't yeah. buy a house because it makes you start compromising. Like, yeah. Yeah. And Actually, like, it was like a bigger kind of statement. I mean, like, it's not it's so concrete. But, you know, the idea of like living below your name so that you don't have to make that up. <laughs> really? Yeah. It was a really interesting thing of like, sometimes you're like, is it imposter something? Or am I just trying to keep my dream alive? For as long as possible, yeah. by making sure, you know, that that would be another thing. Yeah. Like, it doesn't make it. Yeah. 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 And I think, I don't know, at least for me, it's like there's never been a moment of chill now. Yeah. Because it just feels like it can be like sweat from beneath you. Yeah. And we're not just responsible for ourselves. Like, I'm taking care of my family, my team. Like, you're responsible for so many. You want to open doors for so many people. Yeah. And we were talking about this earlier. It feels like as women, as women of color, we can't afford to bail mm -hmm. because we'll never be given a second chance. Yeah. And also, we'll ruin it for everyone behind us because I'll be like, well, they obviously didn't do it to me. <laughs> yeah. I would love to know what advice you would give to younger women who are starting off as filmmakers or as writers. Just as artists in general, what's you know one or, or two big pieces of advice that you would give to young women who are starting off? Yeah. I would say that everything yeah. you need already exists in you. You don't need anything else. And what's another? That's a good one. No pressure. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I tried to get mine out of the way because I was like, you go first. I'm not gonna. I'm gonna get nervous. I would say that Rupi says that everything you need. <laughs> Sorry, it's times two plus one. Yes, yeah. nailed it. Yeah. Perfect. Perfect. <laughs> Great. I feel like we can end it there. <laughs> Love it. Everything about it. We yeah. Can't wait to share it. Can't wait to see more. Thank yeah, you so much. You guys are incredible and such an inspiration, yeah. truly. Yeah. So thank you, thank you. Thank you. Yeah.